Hey, YouTubers, it's Rob Moffat. Good morning. Haven't done a video in a while. I need to get started again. You know, let's today, let's today talk about uh, easy money. You know, one of my favorite singers from a long time ago, Ricky Lee Jones, she had a wonderful song, Easy Money. <laughs> These are it looks hotter hooks because there ain't no such thing as easy money. You know what? She's right. There is no such thing as is easy money, but there is something that's pretty close. Right now, it's called Serious I Savings Bond, I Bonds. If you've got money sitting in the bank, if you're a lucky person and you've got a lot of money sitting in the bank, you know, in a, in a, in a uh, CD bond, you're getting like maybe 1% or something. And a bank account interest on checking account or savings account is practically zero. But the I bonds, savings bonds, they match to the inflation rate. Right now, they're getting, as of today, I think 9.26%. I forget exactly. I think, well, 9.62%. Right here it says it. So it's a no-brainer. This is as close as you're going to get to easy money. Let's take a quick look at the pros and cons. You're, you're, uh, nothing is 100% safe. If the government was to default, obviously, you wouldn't get your money back. But right now, it's looking like this is something that's going to match inflation. And that's what we're kind of worried about right now. So you have about as safe as you're going to get. Nothing is safe, and you know, until they put you under the <laughs> and under six feet. <laughs> but you know, if you want to return, this is the, the the highest return with the lowest perceivable risk that I can find. The second reason I think it's good to invest money in the I bonds is that it's important to have diversification. There's a million people on YouTube giving you all this advice to do this, do that. My only advice to anybody, and I, I'm, what do, what do I know? I make sandwich toaster videos on my Rob's Homemade Life <laughs> channel. <laughs> you know, but I think the most important advice you can give anyone is diversify, because you never know what's going to happen. Um, so if you have a little bit here, a little bit there, maybe you get hurt in one area, but it, it, it's better in the other. So this is one way to diversify. If you've got a little extra money, you could uh, pop it into a Treasury Direct I bond account. Now, the amounts, how much you can put in, you can start at 25, but they max out at 10,000. That's the most an individual can put in there. If you had a uh, income tax refund that was due to you, you could uh, put that for up to another 5,000 max. So that that's that is one problem for for as a great problem for some people to have I guess you've got more than ten thousand dollars sitting around but the second thing is it's inaccessible for twelve months you can't touch it it's like in a lockbox of your it's it's <laughs> it's, it's it's not uh, going to be around you don't even think about it you know you can't bring a note from your mom or you got to have an operation on your toe it's like that's it it's it's gone for twelve months now after twelve months. If you did take it out, you have to pay a three months uh, interest penalty. That's uh, something that's going to happen for the next five years. This is a 30 year bond. Of course, you can, after the first 12 months, you can get it out anytime you want. Um, you would do that through your account at Treasury Direct. Now, you do have to pay taxes when you withdraw it, so you never know what taxes are going to be, but you can guess what they are lately, so you get an idea. Um, now, they do have a deal where you can avoid paying taxes on this if it's for educational purposes. I don't have all the details. You want to check the site. Um, now, your interest rate is going to rise that as inflation goes up, but if inflation goes back down, then you're going to lose that uh, future interest rates. Whatever you made up to the time it goes down, that's locked in, but, but you won't get a locked in interest rate because it's going to fluctuate with the inflation rate. Um, right now, no one's worried about it going down. Um, now, you ha can't get this through a bank or a broker or uh, Cousin Louie. This has got to be through online at the treasurydirect.gov. Um, your uh, documents you're going to need are your driver's license, your bank account, your routing number, your bank account, and your driver's license number. So you're giving them a lot of information. So if you you want to make sure you have a very secure computer when you're doing this. Um, although if, well, never mind. You you uh, you can purchase additional amounts for children, family members, and 
there's a ton of videos on YouTube about Series I savings bonds. But if you go to their site and just look here, they have a bunch of d videos on uh, Treasury Direct uh, I bonds and other different uh, uh, types of investment uh, vehicles that they offer. So those are some of the reasons I think you might like or dislike the Series I bonds. Like I said, you can spend as little as 25 as much as 10000 If you have already money set aside for a rainy day account and you've got extra food in the house and all the things, if you're a prepper and you've done everything, you know, if you've uh, taken care of your, your family, your children, and, and whatever, you uh, you know what I'm talking about. If, you, if you're a lucky son of a gun, you've got some extra money, and you want to be safe, but you don't like not getting any return, like you're getting on a CD or a certificate or, or a bank account uh, savings or, or interest on your checking account, check out treasurydirect.gov and look into the I bonds. And uh, I'm going to be putting on more videos than I have in the past. I've, I've slowed down. I'm going to start doing, I think, more every week now. And because uh, it's a pretty big subject, I should be doing a lot more on this. And don't forget, uh, if anyone tells you it's easy money, <laughs> remember, the easier it looks, the hotter it looks, and there ain't no such thing as easy money. Uh, so <laughs> I get all my investment advice and philosophy from, from uh, popular lyrics. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys, it's been a pleasure. Don't forget to check out my main channel, Rob's Homemade Life. All right, guys, take care. See you out there. It's been a pleasure talking to you.